time for some Pythagorean theorem practice. So if you've watched the previous videos, remember, Pythagorean theorem is finding the length of the side of a right triangle if you know two of the other sides. Remember the opposite side to the right angle is always the hypotenuse and it's always labeled C. A and B, it doesn't matter and those are called the legs, okay? Now, go ahead and write your formula down. Please work these with me because watching a video is great, but it's really not gonna help you when you have to actually work it yourself. And let's write down our steps, okay? On how we're gonna solve this. So how do we solve these problems? Okay, you're gonna have to read. Remember your GED, your task, your high set test is almost all word problems, if not all word problems. So you gotta read the problem. Then I'm asking you to draw and label. When we get to this part of math, if you would draw and label, the rest of it's so simple, so simple. And then you're gonna write your formula. And our formula for this problem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And you're gonna write that down every time you do a problem. Yes, I know it's a lot of writing, but that's just where you are right now. So we're gonna write the problem. Now here's the thing. We've got to solve that formula. Oop. No, no, let's, let's put this here. We want to substitute. Getting ahead of myself. We wanna substitute our values in. And then we want to solve, but we're gonna to have to use our algebra. So you've got to be able to use your algebra to solve these equations, solve these problems rather. All right, so let's draw and, and work some together. I'm gonna leave that right there. Okay, so let's go. So remember how I talked about doing that. So we don't wanna spend a bunch of time drawing this. Your test is time. You're not there to draw beautiful triangles. You're just there to get an answer so you can pass, right? Now, let me go ahead and set my problem up. So this is six yards and eight yards. And this is C. So that's how the problem was already set up. So go ahead and draw your arrow so that you can make sure C is in the right spot. Because I'm gonna tell you what a lot of these standardized tests like to do is they like to call this side C. That so throws you off, okay? So we're looking for the length of C. So we don't have to read anything because this is just a picture. So we've already drawn and labeled our problem, okay? We've already drawn and labeled. Now we're gonna write our formula. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. You're gonna need some space for this. So go ahead and get you a notebook and use it up, all right? Enjoy the freedom of your space. Now, whoops, we need to come back over here and label whatever, we got C labeled, which is great and important, but let's call these A and B. Doesn't matter what you wanna call it. If you want that A or if you want this A. I'm just doing it that way, doesn't matter, okay? Now, remember we got, we've got, we got to write our formula, we've got to substitute. Substitute means take the letters in your formula out and put the numbers that are labeled, hopefully, on your picture in, okay? Just like when you have a substitute teacher, they stand in. So six is gonna go right there because I have it labeled as A. Keep the square, keep the plus sign. B, is now eight, keep the squared, because this, all this other stuff is part of my formula, can't skip it. Keep the equal sign, notice how I keep it lined up, and yes, you have to write your plain formula with nothing in it first. Now C, I don't have, I like to have a question mark there, so I can make sure that that's the letter that stays in my formula, and now I'm gonna work it for, to solve it for that problem. Now, I'm gonna show you two different ways to work this because on our standardized test, they show it to you sometimes differently. So, put a line down your equal sign. Now, C is, doesn't have any numbers around it, but it is being squared, but over here, I've got some math I could do to clean this up. So, we can 
square it and write it down and add it together or you have a calculator so you can just see x um, excuse me 6 x squared plus 8 x squared and you see I just put it right in there then you hit enter so it did all of that math for you so 100 equals now keep your equal sign on your line bring your c squared down now if you've watched the last video I showed you how to work this don't freak out because your variables on the other side of the equal sign that's okay in algebra it doesn't matter which side it's on so let that go it can be wherever now put your pencil on the variable and ask yourself what operation are you looking at well you're looking at squared how do we undo a square we have to take the root so we squeeze that root in what you do to one side you do to the other you follow in your algebra steps even though the variables over there come back and cancel and bring that C down now you see the C popped out of its little jailhouse now the square root of 100 is a math problem okay now if you don't know how to do it in your head like what number times itself equals 100 you say second x squared there's your square root sign 100 hit your enter and there's your answer so you got 10 so 10 equals c which means that um, remember these two squared together and added was 100 so c 10 squared is 100 so that would check back out 6 squared plus 8 squared should equal 10 squared and you can do the math on the calculator make sure they equal so they check all right so that's how it is to solve for c now let's keep going and do another well let's just use this oh i got to show you another way to do that okay so let me show you how sometimes they show they do this on your standardized test so you have this and you have this so you got this far okay but then instead of adding squaring it and adding it together what they do is they take the square root here like so and they show the answer like this six squared plus eight squared and that looks a little freaky like your answer choices a b c this is your answer choice and oops and let me show you how you can just double check that on the calculator say you worked it over here and that you got the answer c but then you go to look for your answer choices and it shows you something like this and you're like what that's not anything what i got well here just take your calculator say second second x squared so your square root sign is there then six x squared plus eight x squared work it with me plug it into your calculator hit enter and what do you have you have 10. so really they are just showing you what you did over here they want to know if you know what you did so what did we do over here we squared it added it together then took the square root what are you doing over here you're squaring it adding it together then taking the square root okay so in the next video we'll work some other problems looking for a and b